Hello children, you're welcome to this segment of the program, the classroom in your home. It is mathematics time and that means it is time to have some fun. Today in mathematics, we will be looking at something that is related to our last lesson on prisms. Still under three-dimensional shapes, we'll be looking at pyramids. Now before we go into that, a review of the correction to our last assignment is in order. The first question of the homework says, how many hedges has a cube? The answer to that, of course, is that a cube has 12 edges. And there are four at the base, four at the top, and four standing upright. The second question says, how many faces has a triangular prism? A triangular prism has five faces. There's always one face at the base, one face at the top of every prism, and now there are three faces standing upright. The third question says, how many faces has a cylinder? Again, a cylinder is a prism, so it has one face at the base, one face at the bottom, and there is one face around it, so that makes three faces. Now, fourth question says, how many edges has a pentagonal prism? A pentagonal prism has 15 edges. The base has five edges corresponding to each of the sides. The top has five edges corresponding to each of the sides on top. And there are also five edges connecting this together, making 15 that it has. The last question says, how many vertices has a triangular prism? A triangular prism has six vertices. Do not forget that the vertices are the sharp corners. So there are three at the base, which will correspond to the corners at the bottom, at the face. And then there are three at the top. So all together, there are, three, uh, there are six vertices for a triangular prism. I believe you got all this right. And for that, you deserve a chair. <laughs> Looking at the lesson objectives for today, by the end of our lesson, you should be able to identify and name different types of pyramids, just like we're able to identify and name different types of prisms. You should also be able to state the properties of these types of pyramids that we're able to identify. And finally, you should be able to differentiate between a pyramid and a prism based on their physical appearance and their properties. Now let's look at pyramids. A pyramid is a solid shape, a three-dimensional shape. It has a polygon as the base. That is, the bottom is flat and it's also in the shape of a polygon. Don't forget that a polygon is a plane shape that has straight sides and the sides are closed. So it has a polygon at the base, as you can see here. It also has a pointed top. The top is very sharp. It ends at a vertex. Now, there is what we call the increasing or decreasing cross-section. Don't forget that in our last lesson, I said that the cross-section of a shape is the shape that you get when you cut the shape, the 3D shape into two, the shape at the center. Now look at this pyramid. If we decide to cut it along this line, we will see that in the middle there is a quadrilateral there. Now, the shape at the base is also the same quadrilateral. But as it goes towards the top, the quadrilateral gets smaller. So the quadrilateral that I'm going to get at this point will be smaller. And then at this point, it will be smaller until it ends at a sharp point on top. And that is exactly a pyramid. I'll take the major points again. In a pyramid, you have a base that is a polygon. It is flat. And then that same shape decreases towards the top until it ends at a single point. Mind you, the base has to be a polygon, it shouldn't be a circle. Let's now look at um, the general properties of all pyramids. I've already explained them, but I will list them out now. They have a flat base, as you can see here, and this shape must be a polygon. They all have a pointed top, like this top here. It must be sharp, it must be a vertex. They have slanting triangular faces. Now, the body will have faces that are triangular. Triangular in the sense that 
the base will be flat and the top will be a point. And the base being flat means that it is not circular, so it is going to be a triangle at the end of the day. If you take a straight line and fill it out to a point, you end up with a triangle. So all the faces at the sides are triangle. This is a triangle, this is a triangle, on the other side here is a triangle, and this one here at the back is also a triangle. Okay. Then their cross section decreases upwards. I've explained that. As the shape goes upwards, the cross section, the base, the shape at the base decreases, decreases until it gets to a tiny tip. But if you are coming from the top downwards, then it increases downwards. So the cross section shape decreases in size upwards and increases downwards. These are the general properties of all pyramids. So now we now look at the different types of pyramid and we give them names. The first pyramid that I will be considering is the square-based pyramid. From the name square-based, what this means is that the polygon at the base is a square. This is a square-based pyramid. Look at it go. You can see it coming around. This is the vertex at the top and then the base will come right around now and this is the base. What are the properties that you can see? Before I show it to you, I want you to observe and count. How many faces do you think it has? How many edges and how many vertices? I will let this go on for one minute. You should have your answer ready by the time I come back. Hi, it's on me. I believe you have now made your notes. Let's now see. A square-based pyramid has, did you get five faces? There are five faces there and I'm going to count them for you. Let's go. From the front view here, one, two, three, four. Then the back end is the base, the fifth face. Don't forget that the faces are the flat part. So one, two, three, four here. Then the front back comes, and this is the fifth one. Now, four of these faces are triangular, like I've said. These are the four triangular faces, and the back is a square base, which is this one. I believe you got that right. Let's move on. Now it has eight edges. Do not forget that the edges are the straight lines that you can find on the shape. I'm going to show you these eight edges if you count with me. Back end, you have one, two, three, four from the base. And in front, five, six, seven, and eight. I'll count it again for you to see. One, two, three, four. Then in front, five, six, seven, eight. I believe you got that right. Now, what else does it have? It has five vertices. Don't forget that the vertices are the sharp points. And these are very easy to count. There is just one at the top. Do you remember the vertex at the top? This is it. And the four at the base. One, two, three, four. The four corners at the base are the vertex. Even from the front view, you can see everything. One, two, three, four. And then the one in front, which is five. Now, square base pyramids are all around you. When you go out for excursions, you can see them in architectural buildings. I'll show you some of this now. This is a pyramid in Egypt. Egyptians are famous for their pyramids where they bury their late kings. And of course, this is a very famous museum in Paris. It is called the Louvre Museum and it is in the shape of a square base pyramid. Look at the bottom. You can see it goes one, two, and there are two sides on the other side. It forms a square. And of course, the sharp tip at the top tells you that pyramids are more around us than you think. Let's move on. The next one we want to consider is a rectangle based pyramid. And you should already know by the name. You see, pyramids are so easy to name. You should know by the name that the base will be a a rectangle. This is one here. Now, the properties of a, a rectangle based pyramid is actually the same as the properties of a square based pyramid. The only difference is the fact that a rectangle based pyramid has a rectangle at the bottom and a square based pyramid has a square at the bottom. So, moving on, we see that they have the same properties. Let's go. It has five faces, and you can see them. Four of them are triangular and one of them is a rectangular base. This is a rectangular base and now we have one, two, three, four. That's the remaining triangular faces, making five altogether. What else does it have? We have eight edges 
edges remember are the straight lines so i'll just count them for you of course i believe you can identify them one two three and four the lines and then at the back end five six seven eight so these are the eight edges what else does it have it has five vertices the vertices are the sharp points uh, at the back end you have one two three four and then you have one on top which is five now this shape comes in different forms around us also in architectural structures uh, the mayan temple that you see here this is an ancient temple for the mayan people where they worship their gods it's in the shape of a rectangle based pyramid and of course it has a famous granite pyramid of kano our kano people in those days used to pile up their granites in the form of rectangle shaped pyramids we are so famous for this okay so these are just examples of how rectangle based pyramids come around us the next one we want to consider is the triangular pyramid and by the name triangular pyramid it should occur to you that the base will be a a triangle we also call it a tetrahedron hedron means face tetra means four so when you say tetrahedron four faces so tetrahedron automatically will have four faces and all these faces are triangular the side faces will be triangular and because it's a triangular pyramid the base will also be triangular let's count them okay i'm going to wait for this to come round this is the back the base that's one triangular face and then you have two three four these are the four triangular faces what else does it have it has six edges the straight lines so i'm going to come from the back end one two three and then four five six these are the six edges three at the base and three slanting towards the top what else does it have it has four vertices and these are the sharp corners you can see them all from the top view one two three and then four at the base so but are they common can we find them around us they're very very rare but i can tell you one source of tetrahedrons around you do you remember that fan yugo that you normally buy from those vendors that ride bicycle this one yeah when you take that carton and you examine it that my friend is a tetrahedron it's a triangular pyramid moving on the next three-dimensional shape that i want to consider is a cone now a cone what are the things that we can observe about a cone well it has two faces and one of these face is one of these faces is flat the other one is circular now this is a flat face the base and then the round body is the other face these are just the two faces that it has what else does it have it has one circular edge and that one circular edge is found at the base i will let it turn around now and i'll show you okay so you can see the circle at the base and that line is the only edge does it have any vertex look at it by yourself can you find any vertex it has just one and that is the one at the top no other vertex now cones you know them to be all around you perhaps you've seen them that christmas cap that you wear that tapers towards the top is a cone in shape of course some of you most of you have had ice cream it's in the shape of a cone. You've seen this on the road that last mile officials used to demarcate uh, lanes. It's also in the shape of a cone. Now, important thing to note, a cone is not a pyramid. A cone is not a pyramid. And why do we say it's not a pyramid? Because at the base of a cone, you have a circle, and a circle is not a polygon. A polygon has to have straight sides. We only brought it here because we couldn't have discussed it under prisms. Prisms have flat base and flat top. And so we'd only discuss it here. But it is not a pyramid because the base is a circle and not a polygon. Now, in general, prisms and pyramids are named based on the shape of their base. This has a pentagonal base. All these are pyramids, as you can see. They have pointed tops. That's one thing to know. 
and that is one way to quickly identify pyramids. But this has a pentagon as the base, five sides. So this is a pentagonal pyramid. This one has six. So it's an hexagonal pyramid. So most like you have square base pyramid, rectangular pyramid, triangular pyramid. You have pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, heptagonal pyramid, and octagonal pyramid. Uh, prisms, on the other hand, do not have pointed top. That's another way to quickly identify prisms. Same shape at the top and the base is flat. Flat on top, flat below. We now name them based on their shapes. You have pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism, heptagonal prism, and octagonal prism. Now, I've said a lot today, and I believe that you have also learned a lot. I want to check how well you have learned. I want you to look at this shape. They are in the shape of some pyramids or some prisms that we have talked about. I want you to categorize them. What type of pyramid or what type of prism is this? Is it a pyramid or a prism? What type of pyramid or prism is it? Study these five and categorize them. You have 30 seconds. Begin. Eyes on me. Now I believe you have done this. Let's now look at the correct answers. This, of course, has a flat top, so it's a prism. In fact, a cuboid or a rectangular prism. This one is a cone because the base is a circle. It is not a pyramid and it is not a prism. This one is obviously a prism because flat top, flat bottom, and it's in the shape of a cylinder. This one, flat top, flat bottom, is a prism. It is a cube, in fact, because all the uh, edges and faces are equal and that my friend is a pyramid in fact it is a square based pyramid now i want you to copy this and do them during your leisure time i will now hand you over to uncle popo for the general studies lesson till i come your way next time remain wonderful mathematicians <laughs>